Speech Secrets. Speech Secrets. I'm going to show you three free apps that I commonly recommend in my speech therapy practice. These apps are primarily for people who have dysarthria, apraxia of speech, or aphasia, and they're all free. The first two apps use speech and sounds, and the last app is specific for oral motor exercises. Before we look at the app, take a minute and hit the like and subscribe button so I can keep sharing speech therapy resources with people who need them. The apps we'll review today are all made by a company called Lingraphica. Lingraphica makes speech generating devices. They put out a free series of apps called Smalltalk, which are for individuals who've survived a stroke or traumatic brain injury and have dysarthria, apraxia of speech, or aphasia. It can also be used for individuals with similar language impairments. The first app is called Smalltalk Common Phrases. It's a speech exercise video app practicing common functional phrases. And then it has the tongue and lip placement. I had a stroke. And the oral motor movement so you can practice saying the phrase along. I understand. The next app called Phonemes shows the specific lip and tongue places for common English phonemes like F or G or P. It also shows the vowels. If the vowels are something you're practicing, it has the long and the short vowels. Uh, uh. Similar to this one is Consonant Blend app. I guess I lied, I'm showing you four apps. Consonant blends are when you have multiple consonants together, such as BL or STR. Those tend to be harder to produce. A lot of people will find that certain sounds are harder than others or certain blends, and so it can help you pinpoint which are the consonant blends you need to work on most. Try. Small talk oral motor exercises shows a series of individual oral motor exercises broken down into lip exercises, tongue exercises, cheek exercises, jaw exercises, and I think they may even have some soft palate exercises. Alternate puckering and smiling lips. Ready? One, two, three. With this app, you can, actually with all of these apps, you can rearrange the order of the videos and remove the ones to make it simpler to focus on individual exercises or phonemes. Um, and then you can repeat each exercise as often as you like. One of the main limitations with these apps is that they only work on iOS. Let me know what you think of these apps. Um, they are a good free resource for people looking for home speech therapy practice. Thanks for watching and be kind to yourself.